from a guest perspective, it is two different experiences. You've got two separate dining rooms. They enter either a Red Lobster or an Olive Garden. It's the newest strategy by Darden Restaurants to be even more competitive. Hybrid restaurants that CEO Clarence Otis says extend the company's reach into much smaller towns than before. Cut the ribbon. <laughs> it means some 200 jobs in Waycross, Georgia. Jobs from servers to management level in a region with an 11% unemployment rate. A grand opening here for many that was cause for celebration. We think it's done a great job of preserving the distinct guest experiences while leveraging the things that can be shared uh, so that we're able to come to a market and make it work financially the size of a Waycross. Talk to me about this particular market, I mean Waycross. How is this coming full circle? It's coming full circle because this is where Bill Darden started. Darden opened his first restaurant, The Green Frog, in Waycross in 1938. His business has since grown into the world's largest full-service restaurant company. With more than 2,000 restaurants and 180,000 employees, the company reports it generates $8 billion a year in sales. You've got a full house today. We do. Now, it's opening day, so it's a little fuller than it might be otherwise. I think back to when the economy, you know, really went to the bottom, and a lot of people thought twice about going to eat out. I mean, what was it like to weather that storm, and do you, are you optimistic about things now? I am. So in those days, I mean, financial crisis, beginning of the recession, uh, certainly people started eating out less. And we felt well, it as an industry, we felt it as a company. <laughs> but the restaurant industry uh, held up much better than a lot of people thought it would. Otis says it came down to keeping prices affordable and maintaining measured growth. Darden plans to open some 100 restaurants this year alone, even expanding into Mexico and the Middle East. This CEO remains bullish on America's ability to put people back to work, despite the sluggish economy and political infighting. Companies like Darden have been around 75 years, our former parent, over 100 years. We see elections come and go. What's important is that we maintain a strong, healthy social fabric through those elections and through the economic cycles that are inevitable. Otis says the key to success for Darden restaurants has been finding ways to innovate, to stay ahead of the curve. It's the same reason he's betting on American businesses like his to continue to lead the way. George Howell, CNN, Waycross, Georgia.